So somebody really wanted to be a part of this video, and frankly, the little timing's actually pretty good. Because this is my daughter, Blair. So we have relationships within a tree. So at the very top is going to be our parent, and then they have kids. So I would be at A, and Blair, this little fart right here, would be K. Now, God forbid, and hopefully another 6,000 years, Blair will become a parent of a child named Z. You never know by that those days. But anyway, but as just like a normal family tree, those kids could end up being parents later on. And yes, A would become a grandparent after all of that too. So there are relationships in a tree just like you have in a family tree with parents, kids, and stuff like that. Now the number of kids depends on the tree itself, and we'll go over that here in a little bit, but so far you've either seen three options. No kids, like Z, if they're smart. Two kids, if, well, they wanted two kids, or one kid. Uh, no, actually one kid, let's see, K only had one kid from here on out. So that's up to the tree and up to the application. So again, we're just talking introduction about trees, but the trees and the number of kids does depend on the application and which we'll discuss more in detail here in a moment.